Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can um, upgrade your HP 250G4 RAM or solid state drive or hard drive depending on what you have in there already and I promise you it's going to be easy enough and at the end I'm going to show you actual boot speed of the laptop after the upgrade. So first things first remove the battery There we go, battery is removed. Next thing is uh, remove these little uh, the uh, rubber pads. They glued in there, so just you have to pull them off. Hmm. And remove all the screws from the back panel. I speed things up here just to make video a bit shorter. There we go, if you have anything plastic there, you can use it to help remove the back cover. It comes off relatively easy. You will have to use some power, of course. Don't break anything. Okay, back panel is removed and uh, this is your laptop now inside. DVD drive was already removed. I'm gonna show you just a close up here. Motherboard RAM here. There is our hard drive, which is spinning hard drive. I think it was 500 gigs. Your Wi-Fi card. This laptop uses, by the way, this laptop uses DDR3 low voltage RAM, so if you are upgrading, I'm gonna leave the details of my upgrade in, in the description so you would know what to buy, or at least it's, it's help. That, what was in it, it's 4 gigs, DDR3 low voltage RAM. And that's the hard drive. I'm, I'm gonna just remove that ribbon there. Or, yeah. Okay. It's not a bad hard drive, by the way. It's 7200 RPMs. Still slow though for Windows 10, anyway. It's kind of painful actually to use this laptop with this hard drive. And as you see, there's no caddy, so this laptop was opened previously. Caddy is the thing that holds the hard drive or solid state drive in the place. And by the way, if anyone wonders, is there M2 slot on this laptop? No. Only way to upgrade this is 2.5 inch solid state drive. Size wise now, I'm not sure. I'm using 240 gigs and it works perfect. And it's a low budget, by the way. So it did cost me, I'd say, $30. Sunbow, it's called. Not sure how you even pronounce that. 240 gigabyte. I used them before. They're, they're okay hard drives or for budget laptops. Or solid state drives, sorry. They're a close up again. Okay, I put the double kind of a tapes there, double pads, so it's gonna stick to the base. If you're just gonna put the hard drive in by itself, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be moving in the place. So this is the kind of a cheap fix for that. And there's other stick of DDR3, four gigs as well, and make sure it's low, low voltage. It says in it PC3L. PC 
So in total, this laptop is going to have eight gigabyte RAM. Possible, maybe it will take 16 as well. I'm not sure, never tested. So don't ask me that now. Okay, back cover goes back on. I'm going to speed things up from here on as well. So, and after that, I'm, I'm just going to show you the boot time and all that. And two exactly opposite <laughs> when you took your laptop apart. There we go. I'm going to boot up laptop now. And the boot speed is is a uh, real real time so exactly you can count the seconds how long it takes to boot up. It's not a fast laptop anyway, but actually with solid state drive it works pretty good. It's only as far as I remember it's only Intel Pentium processor so it's not even i3 or i5. So it's it's pretty decent actually. There we go, we go to, yeah, it's Intel Pentium 3825U. So for actually that spec, pretty good. It will do you for another three, four years if you're just using it. Let's say you're not using it for gaming, so you, I presume you didn't buy that type of laptop for gaming anyway. So it's great for work and maybe internet and YouTube, etc. There you go, you have your 240 gigabyte solid state drive there in the device manager. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this is now helpful for someone out there who, who's looking to see how to open and how to upgrade and what memory is in it or what you, how, how does it look. So if it was helpful for you, thumbs up button, please, and have a good life.